Hello, my name is Sarah. Thank you for watching this instructional video for the Menopure injection. You will need the following, two vials of Menopure powder, one vial of sterile diluent, syringe, needle, Q-cap, alcohol prep wipe, gauze, and sharps container. Check to make sure that the vial of sterile diluent does not contain any free floating particles. Remove the cap from the vial of Menopure powder and the vial of sterile diluent. Disinfect the top of the vials with an alcohol prep wipe. Put back the top of the Q-cap packaging, but do not remove Q-cap from packaging. Puncture the top of the sterile diluent with a Q-cap needle. Remove the remaining plastic packaging. Open the syringe package. Draw air into the syringe by pulling the plunger to 1 ml. Twist syringe onto the Q-cap. Gently apply pressure onto the plunger so that the air transfers from the syringe into the diluent vial. Invert the syringe so that the vial is upside down, but still attached to the syringe. Pull the plunger back slightly past the 1 ml mark. Remove the syringe with the attached Q-cap from the vial and set the vial aside. Insert the Q-cap into the rubber stopper on the vial of Menopure powder and release the syringe's content into it by pressing on the plunger. After releasing all the liquid into the vial of Menopure powder, gently mix the contents until the powder dissolves. Do not shake the vial. Invert the syringe without removing it from the vial and pull the plunger back until all the contents from the vial transfer into the syringe. Remove the now empty vial from the Q-cap by gently pulling the vial off the Q-cap. Remove the cap from the second vial of Menopure. Insert the Q-cap into the rubber stopper on the second vial of Menopure powder and release the syringe's content into it by pressing on the plunger. After releasing all the liquid into the vial of Menopure powder, gently mix the contents while it is still attached to the Q-cap and syringe until the powder dissolves. Do not shake the vial. Invert the syringe without removing it from the vial and pull the plunger back until all the contents from the vial transfer to the syringe. Once finished, remove the syringe from Q-cap and the vial and set it aside. Remove the needle from its packaging. Twist it into place on the top of the syringe. Hold the needle upright and remove the cap. Don't let the needle touch anything, including your hands. While holding the needle upright, gently tap the side of the syringe until the air bubbles migrate to the top. Apply slight pressure on the plunger until a drop of liquid appears at the tip of the needle. The injection should be given in an intramuscular site specified by your physician. Wipe the injection site with an alcohol prep wipe and allow the skin to dry. Make sure to alternate the injection sites between both sides of your body. Take the syringe in your preferred hand. Stretch the skin between your fingers at the injection site and insert the injection straight into the skin. Pull back slightly on the plunger. If no blood enters the syringe, proceed with the injection. If blood does enter the syringe, remove the needle and reinsert in a nearby cleaned injection site. Push the plunger until all the medication transfers into the injection site. Gently remove the needle and apply pressure with the gauze. Dispose of the used syringe into the designated sharps container. Thank you for watching our MedEd video.